we've got wonderful surprises for you. So come, let's join go. us. This is Marcus! Hi Marcus! Hi! I am Marcus Lim. Let me tell you why I like hiking in Bukit Kera. Long time ago, Bukit Kera was a rubber plantation. And it now has turned into a park. I usually hike with my grandfather. And you should never hike alone. Plants separate out for four categories. Moss, fern, angiosperm, gymnosperm. Angiosperm is flowering plants and has seeds. Tree that has no flowers but has seeds, like part pine. If you find a big one. You can use it as an umbrella. Heliconia. This is a sandalwood bulu flower, like just now. Oh, see a miracle plant up ahead. The miracle plant. Flowers are at the bottom. Grandfather's gum force is horrible. Smelly! <laughs> King Cobra, that one can chase you if you are less than 10 meters away from the nest. You need to keep an eye up there just in case a viper falls down on me or anyone. <laughs> if we see a snake, you just call me. It's one of my favorite reptiles in the world. Thanks for joining us for the hike. Uh, this is the end of the hike for today, but certainly not the end of our journey. Uh, in today's hike, we saw many things. We've learned a lot from Master Marcus. Of course, yes, thanks thank in you. a large part to uh, his grandfather, who is a botanist. And this, this is our message really, that we've got to start with the young, because it's the next generation that we are preserving uh, the forest. And the beauty of the forest is, is going to be inherited by the young. And we encourage you young parents who have children to bring your children out. Take them out for a hike. Um, there's so many benefits out here. We feel refreshed from, from this walk alone. The young people, if you expose them early enough, will carry these values into their later adulthood. And they will help us preserve this forest. <laughs>